What's up guys, Isaac checking in and let's talk about escaping the rat race. And I haven't really talked too much about this on this channel, but I figured a lot of people that watch this channel are into personal development, self-improvement, and your financial freedom generally is something that is a big goal. So let's let's get into it. Let's start with a little story. Basically, um, my friend, I, I met up with a friend, and me and this friend hadn't talked for, or haven't hadn't seen each other in five to six months. We basically used to work at the same place before I quit earlier this year, and um, I was talking to him. So he was, we actually got connected a bit deeper than usual because this was the first time we hung out out of work, and he told me that basically he was looking towards buying a house, right? So he had enough money, he was trying to save up enough money for the down payment which you know is usually around 10 to 20% of the actual house. And he is actually 23 years old and has managed to save up $83,000. So I was actually amazed by this. I was surprised. I was so happy for him. Because a lot of people that are 30 years old, 40 years old, don't even have anything to show for it, are actually in debt, right? But it's not really always their fault. Now, basically, he told me he wanted to buy a house, an investment property, so that he could start building something for himself so he does, didn't have to work so hard for the rest of his life. This guy works eight to 10 hour shifts, six days a week. And he's been doing that for years. So he obviously didn't want to do that for the rest of his life. He's already feeling fatigue at 23. And I could totally understand with him. I could totally relate with him because I've been in a position where I've worked some long hours and it sucks ass. And I, I said to him, Okay, so you want to buy this house. So have you been looking into it? He said, oh, not really. I've just been saving money, putting it in the bank, right? And I told him, if you really want to do something right, you can't just go off common wisdom. You can't go off your neighbor's advice. Your neighbor's going to tell you, oh, yeah, you should buy this house or you should do this. You should make this investment. These people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You need to gain the knowledge. You need to invest in yourself. I said, oh, this money you're saving put aside just a thousand dollars just a thousand dollars put aside a thousand dollars into a different account and you're going to use that thousand dollars to educate yourself on real estate or educate yourself on money or educate yourself on these investments you want to make because if you educate yourself prior to making these investments you'll be in a way better position to make the right decision when the time comes. If you go off common knowledge of what your neighbor's telling you, chances are you're gonna get fucked up. So that is advice I have for all my subscribers. If you want to really learn how to, you know, gather rad race or uh, learn how to not work so hard all your life, you need to get the knowledge. You need to really go out there and understand how money works, understand investments, understand business models, different things, affiliate marketing, understand all these different things. Things that they don't teach you in school, they're not gonna teach you these things because in school, they're priming you up to be an employee. They want you to be a good employee, they want you to work and you know make the community run. And to a degree, it is necessary to have a certain amount of people working, of course. You can't have everyone being entrepreneurs, you can't have everyone living that type of lifestyle, otherwise there'll be no one working, right? And also, there's a lot of, it's really demanding to have that type of lifestyle. It requires more work initially. It requires a lot of hard work and risk initially before you get the results. So a lot of people are not willing to do that. People like safety. People like security. So a job is perfect for that. And I'm not saying that a job is bad. Some people, it's actually good for them. If you're doing something that you love doing, if you're doing something that's fulfilling, and you're happy with it, then yeah, sure. But for me, and for a lot of my subscribers that are really into this personal development stuff, they know that they're capable of better they know that they are capable of doing something that has a bigger impact in the world and of course making the monetary gains out of that so i told him i asked him what do you do when you drive to work or how long is your commute to work he told me that he drives 1.5 hours to work and 1.5 hours back from work that's okay that's three hours like, what do you do when you are in the car do you listen to the radio or what he told me now i don't really do anything i just kind of drive i said you need to get some audio books player you need to get some audiobooks and pump that shit. Listen to those audiobooks three hours a day. In three days, you'll finish one audiobook. Get seven or eight audiobooks on real estate so you can know what the fuck is going on. And you will have so much knowledge by the end of the three or four weeks it takes you to go through those books. 
and you'll be in a way better position to make the right decision. Or perhaps you don't even, after listening to these different books about investing or understanding different models, understanding index funds, mutual funds, or the stock market, or day trading, or, you know, FX, or whatever the fuck, all these different models, you might decide to make a different choice. There's a lot of things that are out there on the internet or in books that are not known. And you will never know about them unless you look out for them, unless you directly pursue them. Because, as I said before, society doesn't want you to succeed. They want to teach you history. They want to teach you Shakespeare or the other stuff. They don't want to teach you about managing your money. They don't want to teach you about creating a business that's profitable. They don't want to teach you about any of that stuff because they want you to be an employee. So if you want to do it, you have to go and get the direct knowledge. If you guys want more of these type of videos, tell me and I'll make them. And uh, perhaps I'll show some of my little uh, pursuits onto this entrepreneurship journey, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, guys, until next time, peace, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Do it! Just.